This is Jen, and that's me. I'm Tony. I support Jen in her day-to-day -day life, and somehow she manages to pull up with me. Jen is a dancer. She lights up whenever she dances. She works really hard and it pays off. We travel around. She runs her own dance sessions, does solo and group performances, speaking engagements. She's met a few famous faces along the way. She just loves it. Jen and her family had to fight hard for the life that she has. They tried various dance groups, but none of them fit her because Jen didn't just want to attend a class. She didn't just want to learn some dance moves. She wanted to run her own classes, create choreography. Basically, she wanted to work on an equal footing with other dancers. And so Dance Syndrome was created. I never expected to get involved with a dance charity because I have about four left feet. I'm not even sure how it happened. I just couldn't not. Dance Syndrome is a group of amazing people. It's supportive, nurturing, it's just fun. There's this positive energy around it and I didn't expect to find such a sense of purpose and belonging. It's been amazing for my mental health. It's boosted my confidence. We've performed at the Edinburgh Fringe, we've been to the Houses of Parliament. Me and Jen are just living through it all together and I'm so grateful for that. I don't know if it's changing the world or anything, but it's changed Jen's world. And she changed my world, and that's how it starts. If Dance Syndrome ended, it would be devastating for all of us. It's important to our lives. I think it's also important because it sets an example. So many areas of society are inaccessible, and we don't need to be. This model of empowerment, support, training, it needs to be out there. There are so many people who feel like there's something wrong with them because they don't quite fit into this box that society expects them to live in. And they need to know there's nothing wrong with them. And it doesn't have to be like that. <laughs>